Here's what I look for when I go to the thrift store to look for furniture. As you can see, there's a lot of furniture here. So what I look for when I'm thrifting is just a really good piece that I can flip. One of the first things I look for when I'm looking at furniture is to see the drawers and if they have something called a dovetail, which is that. Most drawers will have a dovetail and a lot of people who purchase your furniture will ask if it's a dovetail. So you definitely wanna take a look at that. Next, I look at the integrity of the piece, how much work is really going to have to go into it. Like this one needs a whole new top. Then I look at what a piece is made out of. This is MDF, which sometimes is not the best when you're refinishing furniture because it will not last and fall apart on you. It'll also be hard to resell. This is a good example of a piece that I actually did pass on. But you can see it's made of solid wood, it has the dovetail drawers, um, but it was a four piece set. I already had a garage full of stuff and I just felt like there was more work that would have had to go into this whole piece than I really wanted to do. Also, looking at the piece, there wasn't much that I can change to the drawer fronts or the overall look of it. So I was pretty much stuck with this whole look except for changing out the handles and painting it. For most first time flippers, finding a piece like this is very beneficial because you're just starting working on finding a great piece that's well made like this one, solid wood, dovetail drawers, and then just painting it and getting comfortable with flipping it. So for me, when I'm looking for a piece, I try to find something that really speaks to me. This would have been a great piece right here, um, but there was a lot of drawers and I just thought the overall piece was very bulky. So with that being said, and everything I just told you, I actually went against you know, finding something that had the dovetail drawers. This was a piece I just, it spoke to me when I saw it at the thrift store and I thought it would be a very unique one to do. So you're probably a little surprised that I chose this one. It's heavily damaged, it is painted, there's a lot of chips and cracks in it, but for some reason the overall look, I just thought this is gonna be a great piece to look at. So here's the piece that I saw. It was the handles that completely stood out to me and the reason why I bought it. Um, it also is a small piece, so it'll be a very quick flip for me to do. Um, I have a whole garage, as you can see, <laughs> of other pieces that are just waiting to get done, um, so I didn't wanna get anything too bulky. So this piece just had the right look of what I like to do. Um, so let's dive into it. So I'm gonna go into depth of why I chose this piece. Um, overall, it's just, it looks like a piece of junk. But for some reason, the handles were the coolest part on it. As you can see, there is a lot of damage in cracks, which I will do a whole how-to flipping video of how I completely transformed this piece. But I wanted to talk a little bit about why I chose it, even though I went against what I already told you guys in the video, which you can do when you get comfortable flipping furniture. Um, so first thing, it is not dovetail. It is just screws and some wood, but it is solid wood, which helps when I'm changing the piece. So for all the damaged, it's easily fixable once you have enough practice doing it, which I'll show you guys when I do the whole flip piece. But for some reason, this was just a great look. I knew I could do something great with it. So when you're really considering buying a piece at the thrift store, I always get my hands on it see how deep you know some of this damage is um, where the damage is it depends you know if there's a huge chunk out of this side that's going to be a lot of repair work this stuff um, it doesn't bother me too much but as a first time flipper you might get a little intimidated it's going to take a lot of sanding um, this piece is probably going to need to get stripped um, to get all this paint as you can see there's a lot of layers of paint in it um, so you'll want to get some of that off. Luckily when I use chalk paint, it, if you just have a scuff sand to it and as long as it's a smooth flat surface, it's not going to matter as much trying to get the layers off. But sometimes it's nice to have it a fresh start. So something else I like to look at when I'm in the thrift store is I always take a look at the back. 
is the back have you know a good solid wood or is it just kind of like this bead board um, and then look at the top that will tell you how solid is the top is it the MDF top with you know veneer on it um, and then that'll also kind of help you determine how much work you're gonna have to do um, every time when you look at always look at the feet the feet always get the most damage this one wasn't too bad um, there's a lot of bumps and scrapes it looks like this could have been in someone's garage but you can see the overall shape of it is not as bad as I thought it was but it's still gonna need a lot of work so if you're at the thrift store sometimes I do even take out the drawers um, since I've done it a little bit longer I usually just see a piece and I'll take it home and then find out how much work is down the road um, but another thing to look for is like inside the drawers does everything look structurally good um, are all these you know um, braces and brackets all kind of in there is there anything cracked or broken um, I know how to fix them but first time flippers that can be a very intimidating job and you'll have to watch more YouTube videos to see how to fix it the other thing to look for when you're taking out the drawers is this runner this runner can sometimes be cracked it could be coming off the piece that sometimes can take um, a little bit of time to repair it also can kind of change how the drawer sits so if you are planning on doing like, you know, what I do, a whole new front, that's something I really have to look at because it kind of changes how it all sits together. When you're at the thrift store, you might look a little crazy because you're pulling this whole piece apart, but I think it's really good to do it initially just so you can get an idea of what you're really buying and how much it's worth. This piece I got for $30. So for me, this piece was money well spent just because I know I can get a really good flip out of it. Um, so for any first time flippers out there, um, just really know what your time is worth and how much you're gonna put into a piece. Um, sometimes things are a quicker flip than others, so really take that into account. Um, I'll also show you in this video some more pieces that I flipped that um, I chose and why I chose it. Some of them did not have the dovetail, but they were just small little flips and you'll kind of get an idea of what I look for when I flip a piece. So here's a piece that I was talking about. I found this one. It did not have dovetail, but it was a small drawer. It was very flat on the front, which I really liked. Um, I knew I wanted to change the whole complete look of it. Um, so I needed something that was very flat not a lot going on there was only three handles um, there was that little bit of decorative under the top but overall this piece was in great condition there wasn't chips so here's the little dresser that i completely redid um, i did a little bit of decorative work on the front painted it added some new hardware and legs and there you go this was another little dresser i found it was made of pine but it was heavily painted um, so what I did was just did a lot of scuff sanding um, and just really thought about the piece overall, the look I wanted. I knew I wanted to do new fronts. So here is that dresser. It's hard to believe that orange and green color um, is the same dresser, but just by adding some different details to it, you can completely change a piece. So this is the last dresser I'll show you um, where I found it at a thrift store. As you can see, it was in a little bit of rough shape. Um, the drawers were pretty well made, but they just quite didn't close. Uh, the overall look, it needed a lot of help. Um, the top had some cigarette burns in it. It was just not the best piece, but I still brought it home. And this is why I brought it home. I knew it was a blank slate to do something very unique to the drawer fronts. I wanted to add some new handles. I knew that the whole look was gonna be the drawer fronts and I really went for it and just did something that was very different with these half moon shapes. I also wanted to add a little wow glam factor with the feet and use these little bunion acrylic feet that I found on Amazon. So there you have it. This is what I look for when I go thrifting for furniture, um, something you can easily do. Um, so stay tuned to see what I'm going to do with this dresser in some other episodes. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, click below to subscribe so I can give you more ideas on flipping furniture.